Texas Chainsaw Massacre game has been ramping up their media presence lately and letting us know that they are present and giving us hints here and there about the game as it draws near the release. These pictures here show aspects about the game that are little tidbits about the game that doesn't give too much away, but enough to draw attention. Like here, for example, there is a pressure valve in the game that will open up another exit for the victims to escape. The other was a mini game shown in the trailer early on in the year. This video right here will hit on everything we know about the playable characters and how to win. If you are missing some knowledge on the game or want a refresher, then you are in the right place. Welcome to Mr. Unleashed World. Texas Chainsaw Massacre is a 3v4 asymmetrical horror game which involve five teams that you can select from and five members of the family but only three members of the family can be selected all characters will have abilities that will be discussed later on in the video all characters in the game will have abilities that can help the team win but only if they work together as a team and that holds true for either side that you're playing on because the family members will have some weaknesses in the game as well even though they cannot be killed take Leatherface for example he cannot crawl through tight spots in the buildings and there's more examples for the other family members as well so if you are playing a family member do not think you can win the game alone when in the lobby selecting a character you will play no one else can pick that character once you selected it there will be no duplicates so if someone picked the character you wanted before you then i'm sorry so from there you're out of luck and I believe that will cause some people to be backing out of these lobbies or it will be a challenge to find a lobby like there was in Friday the 13th. But we're not here to get too far into Friday the 13th. The good thing about the game is that players cannot hear the opposing team in the chat, which is awesome unlike Killer Clowns the game in which clowns can hear the humans. So in order to win in Texas Chainsaw Massacre if you're playing the victim, it's to escape off the property of Leatherface and his family without being caught and killed. Not everyone will escape, in my opinion, unless the team is that good and the people that's playing the family is playing that bad. God we know there are four ways in total to escape off the property. Now let's get into the victims of the game and find out what they are about. Before you forget, remember to hit one of those engagement buttons to rate the content. I appreciate the interaction. Like I said before, there are five victims that can be chosen in the game and it is a one character only selection. So if you don't like who is left, you better learn how to play them because they will be a key player in the escape just like the rest of them. And we all know these types of games give its characters abilities and or attributes that are specific to that character. There are five attributes available that a victim can have. First one is endurance, which will recharge your stamina at a faster rate than the others. The next one is toughness, which helps shorten your recovery time after being attacked by one of the family members. Toughness is also supposed to be a key indicator on your survivability of escaping the map. Strength is also an attribute that will give you a better chance of fighting family members and escaping restraints, which is huge in this game, and will help in turn off the generator that powers the cattle grid around the property. The other one is proficiency, and that is a key attribute because the stronger the victim is in this category, the more easy it is to pick locks that is set up by the cook. Even though stealth is a part of the game in general, there is an attribute for stealth, which will determine how quietly a victim can accomplish a task without making too much noise. Since we know the attributes in the game, let's go over each playable victim and their special ability. Let's talk about Anna. And in the game, they got her labeled as a leader in the group and her ability is called Pain Is Nothing. This ability makes her seem like a tank in the game for what that is worth because her ability allow her to take more damage from family member attacks and the falls that may happen in the game. For example, when you see her jump out the window. So in Texas Chainsaw Massacre the game, Sissy makes potions, but Anna ability grants her temporary immunity against the poisons that may be thrown Anna away. Next we have Connie, who have the focused ability which allow Connie to pick locks much faster than the others. But the downside to this is that she will use more stamina when using this ability. Leland is more of a support type role in this game because his ability will allow him to stun family members by charging into them which could also save a deadly encounter with a family member between a teammate or himself. To me that is a very important ability to have in a critical moment. Next we have my guy Sonny and his ability in the game is heightened sense. Sonny ability is almost similar to the cooks so this allows him to spot out noise made by a member of the family letting him know where they are and track their movements around him. Can you say key ability? Because Sonny and Leland seem like some star picks in this game. Last we have Julie who have the ultimate escape ability. The ability is unique because when activated, Julie cannot be tracked by a member of the family and her stamina is reduced when sprinting, but this only for a short duration, which I believe would be about three to five seconds in my opinion. Even though the victim skills can be upgraded to be more effective in the game, it will still be a benefit to the victims to be quiet and disable any noise making objects around them and also turn off any lights that are on in order to better their chances of escape. Now let's move on to the family. When the game was first announced, we was made aware of three playable characters, the cook, 
Hitchhiker, and Leatherface. Grandpa is not playable in the game, but he do have a purpose that I will dig into shortly. But two more characters has been added, which is Johnny and Sissy. Just like the victims, the family members have attributes too. The first one is endurance, which will affect the stamina usage and recharge rate. The next is savagery, which is tied to the damage dealt from melee attacks. And lastly, we have harvesting, which determines how much blood is obtained from an encounter with the victim. Now let's dig into what each member of the family is all about, starting off with Grandpa. Grandpa, like I said, is not playable, but a key member of the family. He will sit in a rocking chair in the room and he is leveled up by being fed victim's blood that is provided by the member of the family. He can point out victims in the areas of the house to help his family members find them faster. Next we have the cook and his ability is called Seek. The ability will allow the cook to listen carefully to any victim making loud noises in the room or in the area and pinpoint their location just like Sonny can do for the victims. Then there's Johnny with his hunt ability, which is almost a given on what that ability is for. Johnny can track fresh made footsteps that is left behind by the victims. Very important skill to have with somebody playing Johnny. Sissy is the member of the family that can make the poisons like I said earlier, and she do this by local plants around the map. I'm pretty sure you will have to go and find these plants in order to get this done, but this ability is called Bang. She can attack victims with these poisons or contaminate items around the map, so be careful. Which items around the map that can be contaminated has not been revealed. Next up is the Hitchhiker who possesses the ability to trap people, and he is alerted when the trap is set off. Not sure if this is a big time ability if you are not being a team player, because you will have to get to the trap before the victim get free. And if you're nowhere around, and by the time you get there, they're probably already gone. So it would be best to be playing as a team and communicate with them once somebody falls into your trap. Last, we have Leatherface, who is the most dangerous on the map, and his ability is called Mane. It allows him to do a lot of things like breaking through doors or barricades and also killing victims instantly. You will need to rev the chainsaw at the right moment in order to get the start. If you try to overdo it, it probably won't start, or you don't do it well, it might not cause as much damage to the victims as you may think. But the revving of the chainsaw do increase victims' fear, which is always key in the asymmetrical horror game. Taking consideration that somebody on the team must play Leatherface, there is not an option for Leatherface not to be in every map. Now that we are aware of how the game is played and the key characters in the game, I want you to all know if you haven't heard already, there is a tech test, in other words a beta testing, which is supposed to happen May 25th, and which is only for a PC and they only have a limited amount of spaces. I'm not sure how to lock down one of these spaces, but if you do end up playing the beta test, they are allowing you to stream any new information that's found while playing. There would be no NDAs required to be signed. Crossplay is another mystery about the game. It has not been announced to be in the game, but not out of the question from what I have heard. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre game has been given a release date of August 18th, 2023. Make sure to tune in to the channel as more info is released. Welcome to Mr. Unleashed World.